channel so today I thought I would show you a super easy beginner friendly tutorial on how to use your Cricut Joy so if you've just received a Cricut Joy for Christmas or you got one in the Black Friday sales or something like that and you're extremely new to Cricut and have no idea how to use it this video is for you so before I get started, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I have lots of other Cricut videos for you on this channel, so hopefully they can be your helpful guide into getting used to using the Cricut and knowing how to utilise it to its full potential. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Cricut design space. Now I'll get to what that is in a minute and to make your own personalised letters and a very simple project. I'm going to be showing this project in a really slow format so for anyone who is a little bit intimidated by Cricut or finds other videos really fast, I know my other video feedback I've had sometimes has been that I go a little bit too fast, I want to make sure that this video is nice and slow, doesn't rush the process so that when you finish this video you know how to use the Cricut Joy and you can go ahead and make something. So this is the project I've got these little wooden cases for my nephews for Christmas, they're like little art boxes and really simply I've just put on one of my nephew's names and this is a two layer project so we've got two different vinyls, we've got this silver holographic vinyl and we've got a black vinyl. Now the vinyl I'm using is a permanent vinyl and it is a smart permanent vinyl which I'll show you in a minute but I just thought I would start this video by showing you what you can achieve by the end of this video. So just an FYI, if you are new to Cricut completely and you need to set up your Cricut Joy machine and you don't know the ins and outs and all of that stuff to do with the Cricut Joy, then I have a getting started with the Cricut Joy video which goes over in depth the unboxing, the setup and all of that kind of stuff. So if you haven't done that yet and you're still a bit like, how do I set it up? Check that out first and come back here and then I will be showing you how to use Cricut Design Space and how to make your letters. So I get asked a lot about what is Cricut Design Space? Where do you get it and what is it? So Cricut Design Space is the software that comes with Cricut. So you can download Cricut Design Space for free along with your Cricut when you buy your machine, you go on the Cricut website and you download Cricut Design Space. So that might be on a desktop laptop, computer, iPad, tablet, iPhone, some form of smartphone. <laughs> Cricut pretty much works on all gadgets, so whatever it is you're using, you download Cricut Design Space. So that is your first thing that you need to do, and I will make sure that is linked in the description box of this video to make it super straightforward for you guys. So you can go and head over to download that. So once you've downloaded Cricut Design Space, you will need to create an account. And another thing to note is you need to use Cricut Design Space on the internet. So you need the internet to be able to use the design space. There are two main things. <laughs> Once you've created an, ac an account, you have access to all of the things Cricut and you're able to create designs and essentially start using it and making things. Just a little heads up as well, there is something called Cricut Access. This is a monthly subscription and this means that you get all access to thousands of fonts, images, projects, everything. It's a monthly fee and it's amazing. I have Cricut Access and I highly recommend it if you're wanting to perhaps start a small craft business or you think you're going to be using your Cricut more than a few times a week. I think it's really um, good value for money. So you can use Cricut without having Cricut Access. There are free things on there but you do get a lot more for your money and more for your machine if you get the Cricut Access. So that's just a little thing, get that out of the way. Now what I'm going to do, once you've set up your machine, you're ready to go, I'm going to show you the Cricut Design Space. So the way I'm going to do this is I've recorded my laptop with me making these Word projects and I'm going to show you how straightforward it is to do. So I'm going to head over to the Cricut Design Space screen now. I've got a little voiceover and I'll talk you through what it is that we have to do. Once you've downloaded Cricut Design Space, you will want to open a new project. 
and on the left hand side you will see lots of tools one of which is the text tool so you click text and then we can insert some text here really simply I have just popped in my nephew's name Harrison and then at the top left you'll see font this is where you can choose from hundreds of different fonts and Cricut has lots to choose from and this is where the access subscription comes in handy because you'll get use of all of the fonts so I'm just going to click on Cricut on the top left there and you'll see there's 888 fonts to choose from and the price next to it is the price of the font if you don't have the Cricut access so you can download fonts individually if you don't have the access I decided to use this font called DJ Juicy as a handy little tip if you are scrolling through the fonts and you like the look of a font but you're not sure if you want to use it when you're scrolling through you can actually press the bookmark button on the right hand side of the font and that saves it in your bookmarks section and just means that you can scroll through and if you forget the name of the font it doesn't matter because you'll have it saved and then the bookmarked fonts you'll find on that tab where it says Cricut system bookmarks and recent you'll find it under bookmarked and all of your saved fonts will be in there this process works the same as if you were working on the app on the app store regardless of if you're on a tablet or a mobile device but obviously I'm showing you design space on my MacBook but it works the same way so I've inserted the name Charlie as well and the font that I went with is DJ Juicy once I'd settled on the font for both of my words you want to make sure that the color of your word is the corresponding color of your vinyl this just tells the machine if you're cutting it out in a different color but because I was cutting them both out in a black I just kept both of them black you can see the color option at the top here on that panel and then I wanted to insert a very simple banner shape you saw the project at the start this is the silver glittery shape that I cut out to do that you want to click on shapes which is in the left hand side here and I found the really lovely kind of ribbon slash banner shape and I decided to use that one it's really simple but I knew it would work well behind the words once I inserted the shape I wanted to stretch it out so it would be wider in order to do that there is a little lock sort of symbol at the top if you just click on that little lock symbol you'll see me clicking it here then you can stretch it out it doesn't lock it to the ratio that you inserted it at once I had that inserted I right clicked and pressed center back so that I could see how it would work with the word and then you can see here I'm changing the colour of it just to correspond with the vinyl colour that I chose. Originally I was going to cut it out in a mint green vinyl but then I decided on a silver. And you can see it looks really cute behind the words and I made it so that the word would fit onto it basically to make sure it had enough width. Once I was happy with the basic design I highlighted over the word layer and you want to right click hover over where it says combine and press the weld function that flattens the word layer so it means you can't edit it so make sure your spelling and everything else is how you want it then I highlighted over all four layers and dragged the corner of this to make sure it was the right size to fit onto the box so you want to measure your base that you're putting it on and just you can see the little measurements there at the top when you highlight over it and I wanted this to be about 12 inches wide. Once you've got that all ready and you have the width that you want you can press make it in the top right corner and as the material that I'm using is a smart material you just want to click without mat. A smart material is a material that you don't need a cutting mat but you might require a cutting mat depending on what vinyl you're using. And because this is a standard transfer vinyl, you don't need to click the mirror function, which you'll see on the bottom left, that function is for iron-ons. Um, so yes, yeah, so once you have that all set up and ready, you can then go through, press continue and select the material. Once you've pressed continue, you'll get the set base material and it is a smart permanent vinyl. Once you select that, it will automatically send it through to your machine 
and the machine will alert you to put in your vinyl. You need to put the transfer vinyl the right side up and it will automatically feed it into the joy. On the Cricut Design Space you'll see it actually gives you lots of prompts and alerts to make sure that you're doing this correctly. So just take your time if you're unsure. It will say to make sure you have your load fine point blade uh, in the loading bay. But then also it will tell you how to load in your material if you're unsure on that as well. But here is a look at me doing that now and it's super straightforward. You just press the go button and then the machine will start preparing and then cutting for you. So the vinyl that I'm going to be using is this pack of smart vinyl, it's a permanent smart vinyl and it comes with like a gold, a silver and this like uh, metallic -y style of black. So I'm actually going to use this black one out of this set. And because it is a smart vinyl you don't require a cutting mat, so for some projects you will need a cutting mat like this one, but when you use smart vinyls you don't actually need to use a cutting mat at all so it just takes that element of designing away so we can remove the mat so once you have sent the project to your machine and you've selected smart vinyl permanent we then just put this in these little grooves here and here The machine automatically feeds the vinyl through it just to double check that it has enough length of material. It's really, really clever the way it does it. So now that it knows that it has enough material, you get the flashing light at the top and we can go back onto design space and select go. So whether you're using a desktop computer, your mobile device or an iPad or something like that, you just use the Cricut Design Space app or Cricut Design Space on your computer. It all works the same way, so whatever I've shown you today will work regardless of what um, gadget that you're doing it on. Once your project is cut, you can select unload and your design is cut on to the vinyl. Up next, your design space will alert you to insert the next colorway. I just made it a green color so that it was easy to see it, um, and that represents a different color of vinyl. So when it alerts you to do that one, you just wanna select what material it is. So we're doing another smart vinyl permanent. I've got this set here, which comes with a pink, a gold, and a silver. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this really lovely sparkly silver vinyl. Same again, send it through from design space to your machine. It will start flashing at the top of the machine and then you put your smart vinyl into these little um, feed dog things. And once that's checked that it has enough material, you can go press and head the go button. We can now select unload. And for now we can just move our machine to one side. So when you're working with Cricut Vinyl, once you've cut out your design, you need to weed off the excess vinyl that we don't require. That process is called weeding. So if we take some scissors, the tools that I'm using are part of the one of the Cricut accessory packs. So I've got a little pair of scissors here and this little tool which is called a weeding tool. So I'm just gonna cut around the words. And I'll lay this one flat for you guys so you can see it. So to do the weeding process, it's really straightforward. You just take an edge of your excess vinyl and you peel it away. And the more intricate your design, the more you'll have to be super careful and just take your time with this process because you don't want to lift up any of the project 
like the remaining project off your backing card because you want to obviously you want to keep that on your backing card. Now we can do the inside of the letters. So you just use your little weeding tool and you can easily just lift those pieces out like that. Like that. So that is it. There is one word done. And we just need to repeat that process with both of them. So the same as before, but with this one, I'm just going to cut off some of this vinyl. Any of the scraps is worth keeping hold of them because you can use them for like other craft projects and things like that. So I always try and keep hold of scrap pieces. These shapes are really easy. Just pull them off like that. So once you've weeded off the excess vinyl, we can now go ahead and transfer our design onto our base product. So in this case, I'm gonna be transferring these onto a wooden box. They're like a little craft box that I picked up from, I think it was the works. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you how I'm transferring it over onto a wooden box. For this, you will need some transfer tape or what they call transfer paper. And Cricut have their own brand, which is amazing, but you can pick up other rolls as well. Um, I'm just using a non-branded that I have, so for the purposes of this video, um, if I think I just picked up this big roll of transfer tape in like Paper Chase or something like that. Um, but it's a really good one, it's super sticky, sometimes too sticky, but I'm gonna show you how we transfer our design over onto a base product. So, so this is the set that I got. It was £10, little art set for my nephews. Oh, so you wanna make sure your surface is nice and clean before you're transferring anything onto it. So we have our silver pieces to go on. And in order to put them on in the middle, like m make sure they're nice and central, just measure use a ruler to measure it and we know that this needs to be tw uh, 11 and a half so we do five and a quarter is the central point so I'm just going to use put a little mark there where that central point is and then the same again with this one so so with this one because it is such a simple shape I don't need to use transfer tape for this one we can just peel it off so I've just peeled it off the backing card. I'm gonna put a slight fold just where that central point is, so I know. And then we can line it up. Place that on like so. And then we need to get our transfer tape and just peel off that backing. And you'll have a clear piece of film like this and just lay that over the top of your word. Okay. Now you can use your scraper tool which comes in most Cricut accessory sets or you can just use your hands. It depends how simple or how, how complex your design is. So this should, because it's quite simple as a design, it should just come straight off little bit of working that vinyl onto the backing. So once you have your words transferred like that onto the transfer tape, we can put it onto our box. Just peel off that bit of plastic. And there we have it. That is the finished box. And there you have it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed seeing how easy it is to use your Cricut Joy. I hope this video was as beginner friendly as I could have made it for you guys. Any questions you have at all though, do leave them in the comments and I will make sure to answer those for you. 
and yeah if there was anything that you think I missed or perhaps I could have gone over it in a little bit more detail then let me know it's good to obviously see it from a beginner's perspective but just also practice makes perfect um, I started using Cricut in 2017 and I remember coming to it like what am I doing so yeah if you're at that point don't worry it does get easier and you will be making your own personalized creations in no time so I hope this video really helped you with that journey if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell for future updates and maybe give this video a little thumbs up and I have a full playlist of other Cricut videos so make sure to go check those out if you want some more inspiration and ideas. So thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time, bye!